Now, let's just be honest here. It's been a pretty bad past few months for AEW. Pretty, pretty bad. Not like companies going to destruct and implode and fold type of bad. So let's not get hyperbolic and crazy here. But just not good. Like even their diehards, even their cult have to acknowledge like this is not the best of times for AEW. And at the end of the day, Tony Khan has played a big part in that. You know, he's the guy, right? The buck stops there. And, you know, whether they're talking about the CM Punk situation, other shit, and then the decision to run the all-in brawl footage just made everybody look bad, yada, yada, yada. It's like, this guy just can't get out of his own fucking way. But, this past week, the 2024 NFL Draft, Brought a ray of hope. And I was geeked when I saw it. Because I said, God damn it! I get to commend and praise Tony Khan for something. There he is in the Jacksonville Jaguars draft war room. Sitting next to his daddy Shad. And he's rocking the freaking neck brace, selling the Meltzer di- driver he got from the freaking Elite on Dynamite. That's some old school shit. And I don't want to hear this. Well, he wasn't doing a very good job of selling a yuck yuck gorge. He wasn't doing this. He wasn't doing that. He wore a fucking neck brace. He was trying to live the goddamn gimmick. And as much as these stupid, idiotic fucking marks in professional wrestling today try to make this shit telegraph looked as phony and fake as fucking possible. The mere fact that somebody cared enough to try to live the gimmick, to sell the work, to try to make the people believe and not think his product was entirely and completely bullshit is commendable. God damn it, it's respectable. And also a little bit of stroke of genius in some ways, right? Because... You know at some point in time, NFL Network or ESPN or somebody is going to show your war room at some point. And you know, especially if you talk about NFL Network, some of them folks like Rich Eyes and others, they're going to be they're going to be familiar, right? <laughs> Charles Davis, etc. They're going to be familiar with wrestling. They go deep and back with this shit. So they see you with the neck brace. What are they doing now? They're talking about AEW Dynamite. You're getting this magnificent free publicity, free promotion. Having people be like, oh, I'm curious, what's AEW? Why is this, what happened to this guy? Why is he wearing a fucking neck brace for, at his team's draft room? What's going on here? But again, just the mere chatter about it. There is absolutely nothing negative about that whatsoever. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. You couldn't work it any better. And they mentioned it multiple nights of the draft. And Tony's wearing the neck brace selling this shit. No, he's not doing a great job of selling it because Tony doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, bless his heart. But God damn it, I respect that shit. He's trying to keep up the illusion of kayfabe and protect the business. Some real old school shit. He's trying to work the angle. He's trying to work the story. He's trying to sell, for God's sakes. How many people in wrestling today, the marks in the goddamn ring, couldn't sell if their very lives and the history of the future universe was at stake if it fucking all depended on it? But there's Tony Khan, at least trying to sell. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm thinking, yeah, some people are going to laugh and chuckle and have a little fun at this, but this could be a positive thing at a time where AEW needs some positive press. People are going to be talking about, oh, look at this dork. He's wearing the neck brace, but that's cool. It's harmless fun, right? Because it is. Because it is. So I was hoping when I saw that, I'm like, way to protect kayfabe. 
I'm going to come on here and say, you know what, for this one instance, at one, this one particular time, I'm going to defend Tony Khan because he deserves it. Like, props to you, my man. I respect the shit out of you for doing that because a lot of other people would be too worried about how that's going to look and what that's going to feel like and da, 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 da. And dude didn't give a fuck. He said, I'm going to do it because I think this is the right thing to do. Again, mad props to Tony Khan on that. And I wish that could have been the whole story. But once again, Tony Khan just can't fucking help himself. He just can't help himself. He's sitting there getting interviewed during the draft weekend. And he's talking about AEW and he's comparing it to WWE like they're the Harvey Weinstein. Really? Let's not pretend like AEW is full of nothing but choir boys that have never had any sexual harassment, sexual assault allegations thrown against them. But of all the things to do, Instead of focusing on, hey, look at Tony Khan. He's becoming one of the incidental stars of the NFL draft. He's getting himself and his company and his product over in front of millions of viewers, far more viewers than any episode of Dynamite's ever going to get in our fucking lifetime. Far more interested viewers than anybody on that fucking roster is going to get right now or at any time soon. You're sitting there and saying, Tony Khan's becoming a star. Like, it's his moment, and he's making it matter. And then he has to go sit there and throw WWE and Harvey Weinstein in the same fucking sentence, you idiot. You just couldn't let it go. You just can't ignore them. You just couldn't let it be. And instead, you had to make a really dumb dog shit comparison. I get where he was coming from. I do. Because there was certainly some institutional stuff there at WWE. If you think that Vince McMahon and Johnny Ace were the only ones that fucking knew what was going on, you're either living with your head in, head in the sand or your head up the McMahon family's asses. You fucking know better. We all know better. And the harsh truth of reality is we don't really freaking care. Sure, some people will tweet tweet rage about it and pretend like they care and be like, do, 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 do. And then when somebody like The Rock or Taker or Austin or somebody comes back or when Roman comes back in a couple of months, they're going to be right back fucking paying attention and watching and talking about WWE again. It's a vicious cycle. We all know how this shit goes. Hypocrisy is the wrestling community's legacy. But instead of everybody talking about all the goodwill and all the fun associated with Tony Khan and the NFL draft, now they're talking about this shit. And he just can't let it go. Why, Tony? Can't you just let it be? It's like a woman sometimes, I swear to fucking God. No matter what you might tell him, don't do this. Let it go. He just can't let it go. He's always got to throw in some type of pot shot. And frankly, at this time for AEW, you're not in a position where your own house is in order nearly fucking good enough You need to be more focused on your own shit and less worried about throwing dumbass pot shots across the bow. And that bothers anybody in the AW cult? Go fuck yourself. Because it's true. Oh, then here comes the whataboutism game. Oh, what about Vince and the billionaire Ted skits? Yeah, those are funny almost 30 years later because of how petty, childish, and stupid they fucking were. Like, we didn't know Vince McMahon was stupid, childish, and petty. For all these fucking years, among many other evil, bad things, right? Come on. But just because somebody else does it and the reaction is different doesn't make that make it okay for Tony Khan to do it. It's just dumb. Like the next neck brace and the attention it was getting, great, fantastic, love it. I'll defend him to the fucking hill on that one. If you don't like what Tony Khan was doing there, then fuck you. Then you've never liked professional wrestling. But then when he sits there and does this shit, when his own house isn't completely on the up and up and in order when it comes to that bullshit, 
pot, meat, fucking kettle. And why make it seem like they're living in your fucking head? Let it go. Why take that precious TV time that you, by the way, didn't even have to pay for? The NFL Network is giving you that shit for free. The NFL, by God, the most popular sport in North America, is giving you that shit for free. And you waste time mentioning another company in any way. Why? You just don't do that. Just when I wanted to praise Tony Khan, he pulls a fucking Tony Khan. TK, please, God damn it. Stop ruining any little bit of goodwill that anybody can give you. Let this shit go. Focus on your own house. I beg of you, please.